Welcome to another episode of Ross's Real Estate Room. Today we're going to be covering the Comparative Market Analysis or CMA as we call it and why I prefer not to actually do a CMA and what I prefer to do instead. Let's get into it. So first, what is a CMA? The CMA is, in a nutshell, it's data that's put together by your Realtor or by a Realtor that shows you similar homes that have sold typically within a one mile radius of your home or within your development that are similar in bedrooms, baths, living square feet, land, all of those types of things. And while I may use a CMA for someone that's just requesting some sort of home value and I haven't met yet and we're not going over any sort of listing, presentation or pricing, it's just to give them some data, then, then I may use a CMA. But when it comes time for me to actually list your home or go over a proposal to you or a presentation, I prefer not to do a CMA. Two reasons for that. The first one is I feel like a CMA, it's just, it's so much data and graphs and numbers. Now it can be, it can be changed and edited and all of that. But one is I feel like there's just so much data that it's easy to kind of get lost for a lot of people and it's easy to get confused with all the different numbers and the different pages and all those types of data. So I try to keep it simple. Reason number two is it just gives you a part of the picture. It only, in my opinion, it only gives you about two thirds of the picture for what you need to know if you're going to be selling your home. It's also not really interactive. Uh, and so I'm gonna talk about what I prefer to do instead of a CMA is I, I rather do what I call a full market analysis. So the full market analysis is, I'll pull up all the data that's on the MLS from actives to all of the in escrows, all the homes that I've sold within the last six months, any withdrawns, any coming soons, any expired listings. So we get a look at the entire landscape of what's going on in your market, specific to your home. And the reason for this is not only does it give you the complete picture, but it's also very interactive. I, I can actually pull up the photos from the listings that have sold or are active or in escrow or whatnot, and we can go through them. So I can show you real-time data and you can really get a good grasp and feel of what I'm talking about and where your property has its advantages or possible uh, disadvantages or maybe it's not as good in some areas as some of these other properties so we can get a really good analysis of your home compared to the other homes and also what's going on in the current market because I, I recently was looking into some condo <coughs> excuse me condos that I've sold in the Honolulu area off of Kapiolani and the sold condos were well into the into the 400,000s easily but what's happening right now is that the condos are sitting there's actually four there was actually four at the time same thing but there were all just sitting on the market and the one that was in escrow was sitting on the market for a while before it actually finally accepted an offer got an offer to go into escrow and now can you imagine if 
I was going to list your property, but I didn't have all of the data or I didn't do my homework and due diligence and go that extra mile to look at all of the data. If I only went off of the sold data, then we would list into those 400s and what would have happened? Your home would be sitting on the market just like the others. Instead of repositioning your home, it's coming fresh into the market. Now you made a mistake. You lost your opportunity to go ahead and make a splash onto the market and attract that attention and bring that value. So that way potential buyers want to come in and take a look at this. And, and the goal, the ideal goal would be to have a lot of buyers come in and get multiple offers to drive that price back up. So that's a big part of the reason why it's so important to just do a little more homework, do a little bit more work. It might take a little longer to go over with the seller, but it will give everybody a clear idea of what the entire market looks like and where we should be priced. And that's why those items are so important as well. Another thing we can pull up is financing, or I can see if there's any special sales conditions because I'll have it all pulled up. Instead of just having it in a PDF form or just all printed out for you, it's interactive. We can look at these different types of factors that were involved with the sale of the home to see if there was something going on and why it sold for the price that it sold at. For example, a special sales condition could be that it was a lender sale or maybe a short sale. So it got a lower price. Maybe the condition of the home wasn't as good or the materials or the colors that were used. I mean, it's just a lot more interactive, gives us a lot more data to look at. And this way, you as the owner, you know what I know. I'm showing you the data that I'm looking at. I'm not just showing you certain homes, the three homes that have sold in the area. And so we should just go off of this and price it off of that. I'm showing you all the data. So I have nothing to hide. You see what I see, and that's how we can come to a decision on where to list your home, how to position it, why other homes in the area have sold for less or more, and we can go over all of those details. This has been another episode of Ross's Real Estate Room. If you found any value in this video, feel free to leave a comment, share, like, or subscribe. Until the next one, take care, aloha, and have a fun NFL season if you're a fan.